Oh yeah, sour, proper sour. Okay, so what you're getting on the inhale is apple. You're getting sour notes, a slight dash of sweetness. It's a very simple flavor, but it is actually quite nice. Very pleasant. Within that, you're getting that candy-like element that just make, remind you of what this actually is. It is a sour apple candy, and it ticks every box. The apple is beautiful. Works with the sourness, dash of sweetness within that. Oh, lovely. After the inhale, the apple becomes what? Quite bitey. There's a sourness there that lifts the apple up. It's, it's two different characteristics, but that apple is there and the sourness is just like an undertone of the apple. That's the sweetness within that. Just the lingering sweet note that works with the apple, which it just takes the edge off that sourness really nicely. Weird sounds happening. Ugh. But what I do find really nice is that the sour candy comes forward at this point that it separates from the apple and almost gives you like two different types of flavor in one, which is very nice. And the apple produces a vibrancy, the uplift, the freshness of the flavor and the candy-like element rem uh, reminds you like it was on the inhale what you're actually vaping and it's beautiful. Both flavors, textures and the notes are just working in, st in such beautiful harmony. Oh, it's beautiful. Within that, the sour notes stick to the roof of the mouth. You get the dash of sweetness at the back of the tongue. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Now, after the, on the, uh, I can't get my words out. The exhale is, almost takes like a different turn, the flavor does. The sour note just comes forward. It doesn't really come up in levels or anything like that, but what I do like is the sweetness and the apple intertwine. They're working together at this point and you're getting fresh, sweet notes that feel like you're eating an apple, which is what you shouldn't be getting from this, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> The sweetness is still on the back of the tongue. The sourness is more towards the front of the mouth at this point. But the sourness is a little bit different, almost like a sherbet in its own right. But I, is it though? It's borderline sherbet without that fizz kind of feeling you get. It's that close to being a sherbet. Unusual. It's a nice flavor. It's, it's simple, but it works. Yeah. Overall, it's a very simple flavor done to a decent standard. It's nothing amazing. It's not going to blow your head off, but as a flavor on its own, it's nice. Clean, sharp, refreshing notes, just nice and up, a nice uplifting vape that is quite Moorish. Uh, the, the sweet and the sour notes are really nice. The apple is fresh 
And yeah, it's 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 a candy flavour. You can tell that from this. But to me, it's not the best sour apple out there. The um, sour apple refresher by Strapped to me is one of the best ones out there. It's it's not as good as uh, Strapped sour apple refresher, but yeah, it's nice as it is. It's a, just a nice clean vape, and that's what I like about it really. So there you go guys, that is Apple Sours from the Tuck Shop range by Dinner Lady. Done, I hope you found it informative. Make sure you like this video, comment and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching guys, I shall see you soon. Cheers.